In this video, we will explain the concept of trailing buy. Trailing buy is very similar to trailing sell, so I recommend going back and watching the trailing sell video if you didn't watch it already. This example assumes we created a trade with three buy targets as you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen. The first buy target is placed at $800, the second in $600 and the third in $400. In addition, this example assumes we activated trailing buy of 10%. Let's start the animation to see how the trailing buy works. As we can see, the price keeps decreasing until the first buy target at $800 is reached. At that moment, although the buy target is reached, the amount you defined will not be purchased immediately like they would in the case of regular limit buy orders. Instead, a trailing buy order will be opened 10% above the target price of $800, which in this case comes out to be $880. Now, as the price keeps decreasing, the trailing buy order will keep trailing behind the minimum price that is reached with that same $80 difference. Eventually, when the price starts increasing, the trailing buy order will stay at the same price of $715, which is $80 above the minimum price that is reached at $635. When the price finally increases enough and reaches $715, the actual buy order will be executed and the coins will be purchased. As you can see, in this case the coins were bought at $715, although the original target was $800, and this is due to the fact that the price kept decreasing since reaching our original buy target. Let's proceed to see it in action again. Now the price will increase a bit more before it starts decreasing again and getting closer to our second buy target. Once again, as we reach the second target at $600, the coins will not be bought immediately, and instead a trailing buy order will be placed 10% above the target price at $660. As the price keeps decreasing, the trailing buy order will keep trailing above the minimum price that is reached by that same difference of $60. Now, a new buy target is reached while a trailing buy order is already active. When this happens, instead of creating a new trailing buy order, the bot will merge the amount that should have been bought at that target with the existing trailing buy order that is already opened. In that case, the bot will show the new target that is reached as a merge in the trade status. Then, as the price continues to decrease, the trailing buy order that contains the amount from both the second and third targets will keep trailing $60 above the minimum price that is reached. Just like before, Eventually the price will start increasing again and at the moment the price reaches the trailing price, the buy orders will be executed. As you can see, in this case the final buy price for both the second and third buy targets will be identical at $360, which is lower than the original target price for both. It's important to note that while in some cases the trailing buy can be very beneficial and can help you squeeze more profit from your buy targets than traditional buy limit orders, this is not always the case. For example, if the price of the coin starts increasing after reaching your target price, it is possible that the final buy price using the trailing buy will be higher than your original buy target price. In other cases, on the other hand, like in the case of coin dumps, the trailing buy can help you buy the coins at a significantly lower price than expected. Keep this in mind when considering whether you would like to integrate the trailing buy into your trading strategy. And this is it on trailing buy. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.